Human innovation has no limit. I am a big fan of people working in their homes, in their garages, creating new and novel software with the help of AI. And that is why I am always on the lookout for new and nifty little tools, especially the free and open source ones. That is why in this video, I'm going to show you this homegrown project, open source free, very customizable, does only small thing and does it nicely. The tool is called as Movie Search by Samuel Vito Vitorino. So really hats off to him for putting out this effort and then creating this tool. So what this tool does, this tool is a very minimalistic tool that uses retrieval augmented generation or RAG with local models to make a recommendation assistant based on specific parts of custom data instead of inserting all the data into context. The objective is to use minimal dependencies and few lines of code so that we only use SBIRT as the embedding model, a hugging face transformer model such as LAMA 3.18 billion instruct and Meta's FIES vector store as an indexing library, all local. So very cleverly what he has done is he has just used a small CSV file as his data source for the top 1000 movies from IMDB. But the good thing is that if you can replace that CSV file of movies with any of your own data like your financial uh, CSV file or your geographical CSV file or any sort of data and then it will work just fine. But of course you would have to change the system prompts in the code as it's an open source code so it's very trivial to change the code and our tip here is just pick a, pick the prompt from his file go to chat gpt or any other model maybe metas or gemini ask them to convert that prompt into your own use case so depending on the chosen embedding model the results can vary and keep in mind that the movie list is limited bigger llms have quite broad knowledge of movies so smaller ones would benefit from a system like this so if i so in my view if you have a very small model you don't have much resources maybe you just want to run it on cpu then this project will work where you will have a csv file of your own data and then you will just give that csv file to your local small llm and then you will do the rag on the basis of it it is just a recommendation engine also it is also much useful when applied to documents data that is not in the training set of llms such as your own private documents Okay, so that said and done, let's try to get this thing installed and then we will see how it works. Also, I will drop the link to it in video description, so feel free. Before we install it and play around with it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus so this is my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 on 48 gpu of vram courtesy mass compute okay so let's clear the screen first up let's install and create a virtual environment with conda you can use python virtual environment that is going to keep everything separate from your local system so let's wait for it to get activated. Okay, so that is all done. Let's install all the prerequisites like torch transformers. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so these prerequisites are done. Let's also install the Hugging Face Hub. And then we will log into Hugging Face by using their CLI. Let me give you the command. I'm just going to paste it here. And it is going to ask us the token which you can uh, grab from Hugging Faces website. So let me paste the token. And the login is successful. Let me clear the screen. And next let's git clone the repo. And I will drop the link in video's description. That is done. Next let's install all the requirements by running requirements.txt. It is going to take a bit of a time, so let's wait. Okay, so now all the requirements are done. One thing I wanted to show you is this. This is a data set 
he is using this top 1000 IMDb movie data set. You can also just simply download it from Kaggle. It's all free. Okay, so let's go back and let me clear the screen. And in order to run it, all you need to do is to just type python search.py in the root of the repo. And then as soon as you press enter, it is start going to download the model from Hugging Face. And that is why I logged in there because this Llama 3.18 uh, 3 3 billion parameter is a gated model. So you would have to log into Hugging Face. You would have to accept their terms and condition and then you will get the access. It's all free. And then you can grab the free token from Hugging Face profile. Again, a free token. And then you will just put it like I did. And then it st should start downloading the model. You can also um, use any other model, but you would just have to, uh, you know, just specify it in the code. Or I think there is also a switch which you can use from the command line. So let's wait for it to finish. So the model is almost downloaded. Let's wait. There are four shards. And there you go. So the model is done. And then uh, you can just simply type your search query here. So for example, you can say movies about road trip. Let's wait for it. Should be fun. And there you go. So this is um, the response set based on the given movie data. Here are the movies about road trips, plane, train and automobile. And then it has given us around four of the uh, recommendations. I think there is also a help switch. So if you just type dash dash help, you should be able to see some of the help options here. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you want to use any other model, just put your any other model such as uh, just put the model's name there. And then if you want to use your own CSV file, just specify this and then just uh, specify your own CSV file. And this is a CUDA device or GPU. And then similarly, you can just go with your own embedding model by using this. And then this is the index you can create or this is the k nearest neighbor this is a similarity search for the rack which it does and these are the output tokens which you can change and i think this is more than enough for that so this is uh, these are the options you can use so let me clear the screen i'm just going to sorry not this one let it run then i'll just go i'll clear the screen i just want to run one more search this one let's wait for it I just want to see that if it can sort the movies by year or not. So you see it has loaded both the embedding and the actual LLM. Let's see um, movies about maybe finance sort them by year. Let's see. And of course it will also depend upon your data there you go so we just have this one and then this is the year of the movie the big shot so pretty interesting i would say so as i said you know just a home grown project really good stuff by samuel and all open source you can alter it as per your own use case so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed Please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.